Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna talk about three good guy behavior that your uh, guild leadership is doing that is preventing your guild from progressing. So obviously what you want to get is a lot of members. There's a lot of reason for that. You want to get a high um, guild fest, a gauntlet ranking, same thing with Dragon Arena, Guild Showdown and Guild Bash. You want lots of activity because you want your guild to be very active. So I'm going to talk about three things that your guild leadership sometimes do uh, that is preventing your guild from progressing. And the number one, the number one is um, events. All right, let's put that in English. Um, well, do we have this? Let's put that. Uh, do we have the public info here? <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, make sure, make sure that your guilds have rules, and make sure that those rules are enforced. So, what does that mean? So, if your guild, if you have like a 150 points minimum per quest for guild fest on average, okay, that's your minimum. Uh, so let's say for for instance in our guild we have 10 quests so we have a minimum of 1500 really what that means is at the end of guild fest if you have below that amount there needs to be some consequences some guilds they'll have the they, they'll kick you out some 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 will kick you out for 3 days some will kick you out permanently some guilds will have like a a warning system, like they give you a warning, and then the next up there's a consequence. Uh, some will say, well, you have to pay a price. If you don't meet the requirement, you're gonna have to kill five level three monsters, ten level three monsters. That is a good consequence because it provides benefits to everyone. So you need to make sure that you have like rules and that you enforce them. It's really bad when you have guild leadership that don't want to kick bad performing players because if you keep the low if you keep the non-active players because you don't want to uh, you don't want friction you don't want to take responsibility you don't want to uh, be a leader when what what's going to happen is that your best players your top players not necessarily in might but in the events and all that stuff they will leave they will go to bigger um, bigger guild, better guild that fits them. So make sure you have some rules for activity like guild fest, monster hunt, make sure that everyone hunts. Um, and that when you are recruiting, make sure that the people that you are recruiting are are, are gonna match, uh, are gonna make, sh make sure that those people are gonna meet the requirements. So it's really important. Otherwise, like I said, you're gonna find yourself with the worst of your guild and the best members the most active players they will simply leave all right that was number one what about number two so the number two is make sure that people know how to play the game so you'll see something like that you'll see something in the chat someone will say my lab is empty please run a rally for me and you look at this guy and is isn't one billion player one billion my player. I've seen that a lot in my uh, in all uh, my four years of playing. Uh, very I my player. They don't know how to. They don't know how to play the game. Uh, so instead of running, let's say a rally for this stupid player, <laughs> what you want to do is you want to tell them, all right, spy DNs and tell us which ones are easy and run them yourself will join you there you go <laughs> so by the way free to play is <laughs> he's not in on the joke but uh <laughs> Uh, when he sees the video, he'll 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 figure it out. <laughs> okay, so uh, so yeah, so you want to tell players how to how to run things, how to play the games, because at the end of the day, if you have like players that you are taking them by the hands and doing things for them, your your guild is not progressing. You want them to understand how it works, because darkness. 
it is like if you don't understand how darkness work you don't understand our war is working in lords mobile so you need to at least have the basics so make sure that you help those players understand and learn the game <laughs> all right langer one <laughs> that was langer one okay next point point 2.5 all right guys usually at this point in the video when i get to 2.5 this is where i tell you guys you need to subscribe to my channel you need to hit that like button all right i will i will not you can do it if you want but on this video what i want to show you guys is i'm gonna be a good guy and i wanna i wanna promote someone and it's gonna be shady the trap so shady the trap is a youtuber as under 500 subscriber only at this time 33 videos he does a lot of trapping a lot of people are commenting on my video and says hey we want to see some trapping well if you want to see some trapping go see shady the trap subscribe to his channel he's often being showcased on duck hunter gaming's channel uh very interesting stuff very active really like shady the trap Make sure to subscribe, go watch his stuff, and let's help Shady the Trap gets to 500 subs and then 1,000 one 1, subs. Oh boy. All right. Next up is going to be the last point, guys. So I talked about uh, activity. I, I talked about like kicking and, and making sure that you have active players. I talked about helping players understand the game and not doing things for them. Now, the last thing you want to, uh, one of the big mistakes uh, as far as leadership goes is you want to make sure that your guild has an identity. And what do I mean by that is like, it's really important to have a lot of members for the, for the events. So you want a lot of members for the guild gifts. Uh, for the events, the guild fest, the showdown, the bash, and all that stuff. It's really important, Dragon Arena. The thing is, you want to make sure that you get the right members for your guild's identity. So obviously, some guilds are like 100% focused on war. Some guilds are farming guilds. You want to make sure that you know what your guild's identity is. So for instance, in this guild, we're mostly farmers, but we are doing a little pivot towards war. And so we have about half of half of our membership really are still in the pro process of uh, building up their accounts. And half of the guild are like, yeah, we're, we're at the point where we wanna do war. We have the accounts, we have the troop comp, we have the knowledge, we wanna do it in, in <laughs> we wanna make sure that we do it uh, against the proper people. We wanna understand a game, we don't wanna go against big, war families where they will double triple and quadruple rally you you want to go one-on-one -on -one, test your might understand and everything so you want to make sure that when you recruit people if you are a war guild don't recruit someone that is a um that is a farmer with no interest of, go of doing war and same thing if you are let's go to uh, so we've had some some new players in the guild lately and at, at the same time, if you're recruiting war players and your guild is really not geared towards war, uh, those players are gonna, they're not gonna be happy. They're gonna be, they're gonna be looking for another guild real quick. So you need to make sure to set the expectations when you recruit people. Um, so it's very important. If you're, if you are half and half, make sure that uh, the war people make sure that they, they 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 know each other that they have their little bubble that they can uh, organize events dragon arena wow and stuff like that when there's a war war and it's not uh it's not a good timing for your guild make sure to let your war people know that you are not going to participate don't leave them in the dark so it's really important and if you are a farming guild and you want to pivot toward, towards war don't do it like make sure that there's a transition phase people in your guild they need like if we look at this there's a bunch of people right in the 200 3 million 300 million might in our guild that if if they want to go in fury they're just gonna get capped they're gonna get crushed right away so you want to you want to help them understand the game the transition you want to help them make sure that they have enough troops that they know what they're doing uh so don't switch 
Just like that, make sure you transition towards war. Or if you're a war gale and you want to transition to, let's say, it, we're, you, you guys want to be uh, very um, farming, you want to say a real life is more important, then make sure that everyone in the guild knows. Have those discussions internally on your guild chat. It's really better if you have like a Discord or a line when those, where those discussions can happen. But it's, it's very important that you know what your guild's identity is. And for instance, speaking of guild's identity, guys, if you want to play with me uh, and you don't want to... Uh, <laughs> You don't want any requirements. You can come play with me in 69 Lamau Guild. Langer69, that's my fifth account. Uh, let's go see the guild, for instance. There are no requirements. So it's a chilled guild. We do weekly Monster Hunt Bus. Well, it's not really weekly because uh, whenever there's guild fest, usually it's... yeah. So let's say one every two weeks. Uh, so definitely, guys, if you want to come play with me, that's going to be it. Uh, we are gonna try to get to some uh, better uh, better levels, but it's very chill. Like I said, no requirements. Um, that's basically it, guys. If you are in a leadership guild, let me know in the comments below if those good guy behavior are preventing your guilds from uh, progressing. Um, aside from that, let me know in the comments below what your guild is doing. If you're not in the leadership, do you think those uh, tips and tricks would be helpful to your guild's leadership? All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.